So the goal for this week was to create an open education resource um, with an actual resource to kind of demonstrate how it is that open educational resources and the open author tool works. Um, before I kind of get into explaining, you know, and, and breaking down how the resource works, I kind of wanted to just discuss um, how I came to you know, the knowledge I had and, and what I needed to create this resource and kind of the thought process be, behind creating everything. Um, when thinking about open educational resources, the resource tool and the open author tool really was perfect because, you know, after exploring the tool, I was able to realize that, you know, you can create a step-by-step -step process in which um, would show how to use the resource. Um, and really, in order to do that, it took a lot of exploring, it took a lot of um, working with examples and kind of experimenting with the tool and seeing how it worked and, and how it worked best. Um, a lot of the reading had to go with learning about the actual Go Open movement and how it's so important for teachers to kind of share ideas openly and learning about the, you know, the Creative Commons and the public domain and really finding uh, information that I could include in this resource that would be helpful to myself as well as other educators or administration that might find this useful in learning about the open author tool. Um, another thing was learning about the meta tagging and kind of how to get your resource out there and allowing you know people to be exposed to it and then hopefully use it or you know remix it in their own classrooms. So really just that, that st to grow that technology knowledge, I really just had to experiment and read and, and look at all the different options out there. Um, and really the goal then to share that was to kind of get all that information in which I learned out there. Um, in this case, learning how to just use the tool was the most important. So I felt as if the best way to do this was to create a uh, a more simple breakdown of the tool to allow people to use it in a profession, proficient manner. Often I always feel that, you know, learning the basics of it is the best or the bare bones. Um, and then being able to take it and really experiment on your own is always a great way to learn how to use the tool. Um, and then finally, really just thinking on how to present this technology. Uh, in this case, as I said, I think when working with teachers and administrators, it's good to give them a step-by-step -step breakdown um, and then just really letting them get out there and, and work with it, not necessarily giving them activities. Um, I think if I was using this tool with more teachers, uh, I would feel the need, or more students, I would feel the need to include activities that, you know, they could use going through. But I think, um, what my thought process was to present the information to the teachers and then leave actually at the end I left an, an area where they could ask questions or or you know clarify anything that was confusing so with that being said I'm going to kind of get into the resource and explaining it um, as you can see here here's the description the first page you'll see uh, the resource is meant to help college students educators and administrators in their quest to use the open author to use the open author resource in their schools and classrooms um, so my thought process was this could really be used in a school, in a college, um, to either help college students who are looking to become educators or in a school to help teachers and administrators use it in their classrooms as well. Um, as you can see, I've given it the Creative Commons license at the bottom. Um, and as far as media form, it's got a lot of graphics, photos, um, text, and video. Uh, at the bottom, we talked about meta tagging, so different things that will kind of link people to this resource um, and kind of get it out there. So with that being said, we'll kind of explore with the resource. As it loads up here. And it was really a great tool and, and I loved how kind of user friendly it is and and all that. So as we can see here, we've got the summary. Um, our learning goal being for educators and administrators to build an understanding of how to use the open, open author to build resources. Um, it's got the Creative uh, Commons attribution. Um, 
Then we, of course, we have the table of contents. So I'll kind of walk through that before scrolling through. So we have step one, choosing what you will create, components of the open educational resource, um, which would be the right, the table of contents, the toolbar, and also, you know, giving teachers where to find their Creative Commons resources, um, and then describing the resource and submitting your resource. Um, so to start up top, I kind of just gave um, the people viewing this resource what this is great to use, uh, courses, units, lessons, activities, presentations, um, and then just kind of jump right into it. Uh, I used a lot of screenshots in this to kind of show um, whoever is viewing it where they can find this. I think having a description is always great, as well as having uh, visuals to go along with those descriptions uh, with the different types of learners out there. Um, both can be very helpful. So it started off with, you know, ex explaining to them they could either use the drop down to find whether they want to build a resource, a lesson, or a module, or that they could just click the create tool in which it would bring up, you know, just a web page with the same options. Um, in this case, I used the resource builder, um, but letting them know that all three of those are options with this tool. Um, with that, we get to the open any resource, and just now it was time for me to, what I thought basically was simply break down the three resources. So the first being the right. So just explaining to them that this is where you will give your resource a title, then build upon it using headings, subtitings, text, images, videos, and other content that will help build your resource. Um, I broke down the table of contents, showing them once again with images that will be located on the left side, and then they can do it that way, but also showing them that as they go through in text, they can change it using the toolbar as well. I use this as an opportunity to kind of transition into the toolbar and showing them the different aspects. Um, one thing I didn't want to harp on or, or spend too much time on was the tools on the left side, such as bullets, numbers, um, or even the font type tools, mainly because I think as educators we are so exposed to that using things like Microsoft Word or other word processors that it's not necessarily something that we needed to go too in depth on. The, the two that I really wanted to focus on and I think are the most useful for the open education resource is the link tool and the attachment tool. I started with the link. Once again, another, another screenshot and ex explanation showing that they can determine what it, you know, what it will say and then what link. I even used an example, um, linking it to the Creative Commons website to help them there. And then with media, again, a resource um, and explain to them that by doing it this way, you know, that's how I was able to implement all these different images throughout. Um, speaking with links and different media, I think it was important to explain to whoever it is exposed to this, you know, where they could find this stuff. And using the Creative Commons resources um, and website, I was able to kind of find a good kind of variety of sources they can use to, you know, find things that they can add to their resources and make them more useful and more engaging. Um, and so that really covered the right section for me. Um, but also I, I wanted to inform them as well that once they become more co comfortable, uh, they're able to explore the open author tool and use these same skills like writing and, and adding things to also remix others' resources as well. I thought that was a really important point because often as educators, we don't necessarily want to reinvent the wheel. So, um, you know, why not make them aware of that? Um, the step three was describing your resource. The second step in the part, but step three of my actual resource. For this, I wanted to give another example of media that, stu that you could upload to your resource. Um, in the resource, I created a screencast in which I described the described section, um, where I broke down, you know, the abstract, the subjects, the educational use, the languages, material types, um, and how to add learning goals, keywords, like the meta tagging. And I talked a little bit about the meta tagging as well. They could simply just press play, and it would get started. This is linked from my own personal, own personal YouTube account. Um, and then finally, just talking to them about submitting their resource and letting them know um, 
what each question is asking them and kind of put it more in layman terms. So allowing modifications, talking about do you want people altering the resources or you want it to stay as is, allowing commercial use, um, and then of course the jurisdiction. Um, so I thought this was a very, you know, simple way but effective way to present how to use the resource without making it too confusing. Um, just through my own exploration, I found that this really kind of, I thought that something like this would have really helped me in making my resource um, through my explanations. Um, you know, and once again, at the end, I hope this has been a helpful resource. The journey to become an avid user of the open author tool. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions uh, or to remix this resource for your own. Uh, so I wanted to obviously offer them that option and as well as including a link here that would take them to my email. Um, as it would click, it would take them to email me personally. That way they would be able to ask any questions needed. So with that, uh, I really enjoyed learning about the open education resources, uh, learning about this open author tool, and really look forward to using it in the future in my, in my own classroom. Thank you.